Earth has over 3 million gigabytes of images stored. And of those 3 million images, there's a handful that are literally shocking. This one is called the loneliest island in the world. You might have seen it when Ryan Trahan visited. Now, it's called this because the entire island is apparently only used for the lighthouse, which is located all the way down here. And the entire rest of the island is literally empty. Where is this actually located? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? The Faroe Islands. I've never heard of those. I mean, I did, but I didn't know they were like a whole bunch of islands. It's very lonely. It's a cool island. I get a little bit caught up, okay? Let's take a look at the Red Lake. There's no official explanation for why this giant lake is red. Seriously? There's no reason. It's in the middle of Iran. You've got this like blood colored pond in a park next to it. I feel like it's gotta be pollution, right? You have like a bunch of schools and houses here. All the runoff flowing down into these little basins. It's gotta be toxic waste. You do not want to breathe that stuff in. All right, this one is something that nobody's ever been able to explain, but there's a bunch of these like holes all over the land near the Grand Canyon. The only current accepted explanation is that these are from ants. But what's weird to me is if you zoom in, they kind of look like bushes and trees. Are those trees or bushes? Is it grass? What's the scale here, man? I don't know because I can't get in there to investigate this to figure out the truth. I'll tell you this though. This looks like giant waves of water rushed across the land and created a ripple effect of a bunch of water. It looks like water rushes down, spreads out, major amounts of water push it here. I still can't explain these little dots, but I did discover there's big water flow here. The Nevada Circle Farms. Interestingly, I believe I flew over these once. Can someone explain why are they circle farms? Are they automated, I'm guessing, or something? To all you uneducated conspiracy theorists out there, the circles are not Google censoring secret stuff. It sounds like something that an FBI agent would say to censor secret stuff. Andy says you won't get in because you'll be surrounded by Apache helicopters and Humvees. Well, why would they surround this with F-16s if it wasn't secret military stuff? And if this went all the way around, why would it stop? Oh, it's because there's a road, maybe? Then that's just bad design by the owners, or it's a Pac-Man shaped <laughs> alien spaceship. This is a lip forest, which some say it looks like a pair of lips. Some would say it looks like something else, but we'll just call it the pair of lips in the lip forest. And uh, I mean, kind of stupid, but it is there. Apparently people are graffitiing an active volcano. Oh wow, they actually are. And that's not the kind of graffiti I thought it would be. What? That looks like ancient Mayan civilization technology, right? This to me is a giant bird. All right, it's gonna kill us. Let's see if we got anything interesting here though. Maya, that's the name of the producer. That's why she picked this video. Her name was in here. Do we have a Zach? Bro, Jesus was here? Oh my God. This is Heart Island. I thought this was in England. I don't know if it is or not. That's kind of nice. You know, a little bit of a Heart Island. Is there anything on it? Any like secret FBI agent alien stuff going on in here? I mean, it's pretty empty. A couple boats coming to shore. There is a dock and it looks like we have a trail of wheels that lead all the way up to here, but there's nothing. There's no buildings, no civilization, no beach homes, no beach goers. Perhaps a secret underground lair where they're storing the UFOs. I'm convinced we're going to find a UFO today before this video ends. Apparently somebody found Siren Head here in Nevada. Lincoln Highway right in the middle. I mean, it looks real. Now I got to go test it and see. I'm going to see if I can do this based on what I just saw there. It is not going to be easy. Nevada. What are the cities? Still water? This is really hard. Hey, there's Mount Augusta. Middle gate. Right at middle gate. It's right at middle gate. It's right here. It's this road. This is the road they found Siren Head at. So I found the road. Now we're going to see if it's actually in Google Earth. Then you'll know if this is actually a real thing or not. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There's nothing here. Bro, oh, oh, oh. I literally clicked on this exact location. Let me double check that that's where I clicked. I saw that black thing. Bro, what the heck? Did I get clickbaited by this guy? Where's Siren Head? I'm at the right location. I know I am. I'm mad. This is uh, the human lake in Brazil, and it's a man-made lake that looks like a human. It even oh, has a little pee pee right God. there, but I'm trying to figure out why? It's so weird. It's also very uneven. Like the bro's got a thick right leg, skinny left leg. I mean, wow, look at all these farms too, man. They're so wavy and curvy. Brazilians don't make straight lines. They just zigzag it everywhere. This is the Shamrock Maze. It says outside the Dublin airport, you can find the Shamrock and it actually is a real maze. Let's see if we can solve it here. I would go this way. All right, we're gonna go left, go up this way. We're already up to here. Wrap it around town, bring it around this way, this way, this way. I, I don't know exactly if that's like blocked off or what, but that would be my solution. It's very simple to solve. Outside of Munich, you have this interesting art here. Uh, oh, deep. I guess you would have had to start right here. Go over it, bring it back and then stop. Oh, you would start down here. Interesting. Why make that a farm when you can just turn it into a giant swirly thing right there that you can only see from outer space? This is literally called the Inaccessible Island. That's what it's called. And yet if you zoom in, there is a house on Inaccessible Island. <laughs> what in the world? Look at this thing. It is just a giant cliff of nothingness. Like this is crazy. Honestly, it seems like a pretty low key sick island if you came here. This one's called the Flooded Path. All I was told is turn around for a surprise, so. Oh, 
Really? What, what, why are we running through this? this? Why are we driving through this? Nothing here seems like we should be driving right now. Bro, they're attacking the Google car. Stop it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at how close they are. Look how close. See, oh, the Bulls guy is totally separated from the pack and he's back. Oh, he just, he just chased us down. Here's a crashed airplane that we found. This one is kind of on the side of the road next to this airport. I don't know if it's actually crashed though, or, you know, wouldn't it have blown up more? Or do they just like park it there and forget about it? This is a really tiny airport. Where's the runway? Oh, maybe it's this thing. I bet that's the runway. Well, how'd y'all get a big boy here? Did it actually crash? Desert Prada, middle of nowhere. They actually seem to be stalked as well, which is even weirder. Does nobody steal from it? You would think if there's literally nobody around, somebody would come and steal something. That's amazing. These are scarily low clouds, which is kind of odd. Like this is like literally like below the mountain level. Just like, a, a, it's weird to me to see clouds that low. Like sometimes I see them and I think, are these secret government cloaking devices to hide secret government spacecraft? Perhaps. This is Google Earth allowing you to now start to explore underwater though, because they sent a diver in the water. I think that I can go in here. It doesn't even look real. Oh, wow. That is cool. And you have a watermark at the bottom? We need more Google Earth underwater. Look at that. We need way more of this. Why is there only a few shots? There's only like five locations in this entire area. You guys got the entire ocean to do and you stopped at five. Guys, you're slacking here. Look at this. Y'all could go uncover everything down here. Wow, look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, look at this. Mario Luigi car. 100%. I'll tell you right now, this looks like England. Gray sky, weird looking bushes and uh, brick houses. It's got to be England. Oh, it looks like a pizza delivery car, to be honest. That thing will be bussing. Oh, look at these little guys. What? Why did they call the horse's eyelashes out? Nobody call out this thing. Yo, we found a cat with two legs. I think that's a new species we discovered. I don't think anybody's seen this. It's like a hybrid rabbit cat owl looking thing with a tail coming out of its neck. Exotic. This is an island called Ashima Island. They say it's been abandoned and nobody knows why. And it does appear to be totally dilapidated. Look at this. It looks like an earthquake or a tsunami hit it. Can we get in there? We can. We're going to get a close up look here of what is going on in this island here. Whoa. Wow. This island is destroyed. I would say it was either a nuke or it was a blood. It's hard to say what, you know what I mean? I mean, that's that to me looks like nuclear bomb damage. That's absolutely insane. If anyone knows a story about the island's empty, I'll be very curious. Let's see what this guy found here. We are zooming in on some kind of beach city. Bro, what is that? A freaking what? A sea monster? Hold on. Where where even is this? That's the problem. I don't even know what this country is. It, something about it looks fake, but something about it looks real. I feel like the weird squares around it feel real to me, but then the shadow doesn't. Because wouldn't it have casted a shadow that's not so thick? Anyway, here's a creepy office. Take a look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Looks like something you'd find in Epstein's Island right here. It's like there's a one-way mirror, Epstein and Bill Gates are back there. I don't know, bro. It's creepy. Speaking of creepy, look at this. They got inside of a haunted house somehow and like, what? Is that a child or is that a doll? Why is that specific thing blurred? Oh, what the heck? Is that a double-headed kid? Is that a real person or does he have two faces? Wow, look at that. It even has the old Instagram logo. This thing must be so old. Yo, someone connect. They've got their password. This guy discovered something hidden in Little Island above Antarctica. What do we have here? Oh, very tiny island. Okay, okay, okay. Volcano Island? Oh, we're going into the island, okay. Oh, Jeffrey Epstein's second island, bro. I didn't know he had so many on Google Earth. That is creepy. The Google Earth guy never made it out of this one, which is why there's only one photo of this island. This one's in North Korea, even the most dangerous we've seen today somehow. It is creepy how empty it is, dude. It's kind of cool architecture though. Someone risked their life for this photo. Like literally, I think they actually probably did. And this is the second one I found in North Korea. It's in a North Korean nuclear submarine. How did we get this? Google Earth, what? We got an actual photosphere in a nuke submarine, bro. It looks like there's no way. That's got me baffled. I don't know how they got that one snuck out. I mean, that's life threatening right there. They claim to have discovered Atlantis. So far, I don't see an underwater city, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's gonna actually zoom in for us. There's definitely like some statues here, but a city? It's something, dude. It's something. There's definitely human bodies, statues down here, but like it's not a city. Guys, if you enjoyed this Google Earth video, then you gotta check out this one where I show you the scariest things that Google Earth accidentally revealed. Peace.